members do not go back to the records of their speeches and the evaluations. The strength is that record of technical evaluation is maintained. So the Google Drive part, putting those evaluations in Google Drive and sharing can be more effective. That is one very good point. And the third one is 48. Toastmasters of the evening or day or morning could take the lead on recording all the comments from the general evaluator and other evaluators and share it among the members, which will help. What uh, we have been seeing is, you know, <coughs> general evaluator gives overall evaluation of the meeting and we just nod in acceptance, but uh, we do not keep track of those things and we miss out. So these three points got very much attention of Yes, yes. Therefore, I would say there are many good things and by 100 years of evolution of Toastmasters, there are many good things, but do we apply them? And religiously, religiously is another. <laughs> so do we apply them? Do we truly, are we honest and persistent? Do we, uh, do we consistently follow the process that has been told? There are very good things. And when some of us, if we are given the role of Toastmaster of the day or general evaluator, do we, as we are commenting now, can we meet the expectations of the Toastmaster International, the design? Do we want to put, so, so we ourselves volunteering to be part of this evaluation process and this learning process, we are saying that we will contribute making this a better thing. Okay, so now I'm, I'm just uh, looking at the uh, points all alone. So these 53 points are for you to review and go back and uh, reflect on and see how you can improve uh, in your area. So just for the, since there is a limitation of time, so we will not cover everything. So we have covered the representative uh, issue. So now, Further point. That's uh, this 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 paper is not there. I I borrowed <coughs> this from <coughs> judges, <coughs> the evaluation <coughs> contest, and the how judges look at the speeches to evaluate. Okay, and. See the essence of evaluation. Where does the essence of evaluation lie? The majority, 70% of the evaluation covers, number one, analytic. So when you are giving an evaluation, that has to be analytic. When a speaker is speaking, the, the, the whole content has to be. So when you are giving your evaluations, that has to analyze. So the, the the analytic quality, it has to be clear and focused. That 40% has to be covered. Recommendation, positive, specific, and helpful. 30% it should cover. Technique, the way you say it. Sympathetic, sensitive, and motivational, 15%. So 85% is how you do it. And summation, concise, encouraging, 15%. There is no space for drama. <laughs> so unnecessarily we create drama in the club. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Every time. So, so <laughs> <laughs> therefore, 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 when you ask for the vote by the members for the best evaluator, would you please next time when you take general evaluations emphasize a point? Emphasize a point. Please vote an evaluator who met the expectations of being analytical, being who recommended, who summed up, and who sympathetic. give the sympathetic. Please highlight, remind the audience that the eva best evaluator award should not be backed by somebody who dramatizes <laughs> and just makes fun of the speaker. We are losing that. The essence, essence of, and at times you have seen, you know, the the speaker is butchered badly, 
and evaluator takes the award. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That should not happen. And we are getting things wrong there. Okay? Therefore, therefore, evaluation is looks very simple. When you look on the surface, it looks very simple. But it contains it has to be very artistic. It has to be very scientific. And I'm I've also put a commerce because the membership loss is a commerce of yes. the club. Yes. So, so that also okay. very commercial. So that needs to be taken care of. And it's only we evaluators now being trained can take care of that. All these three important aspects. Now let's look at, and if you look at the, the others, I've borrowed this from the evaluate to motivate. <coughs> How to evaluate effectively? If you take two minutes of time to read that. How to evaluate effectively in the sit here, uh, in the middle of the case, how to, e e e how to evaluate effectively? <coughs> Just, I think uh, this is on the third paragraph, how to evaluate effectively. So it very clearly says, before the speech, Review and discuss the manual objectives <coughs> and evaluation guidelines. This has been lying for years in the Google. These are the guidelines given. Uh, do, we, do we follow the first line ever? Ask about any concerns regarding the speech or the speaker's speaking ability. Without you checking with the speaker, you are not doing the <coughs> right kind of evaluation. So that's something that we must follow. Second, so that you are interested. Even during the speeches, if you are fidgeting when the speaker is speaking, if you are, if you are looking at your mobile when the speaker is speaking, so the speaker would like to see that the evaluator who is sitting here observes the activity fully, very attentively, and notes it down. <coughs> if if a speaker notes that there is a digression in the evaluation, is not observing me adequately, then there is a pain. So therefore, show that you are interested, demonstrate that you are truly interested in the speech, Exhibit your interest in the speaker's ability to grow and inspire. Third, that's that's very third one is equally powerful. Please note that down. Put yourself into the positions of the speaker before giving your evaluation. What at times you yourself ruin your speech and you become very smart when you 